Yo, what up, what up, it's the Kid CJ City. So today we got a different video. I've been seeing like these double laces floating around on YouTube. I actually didn't really like that style at first, but we got the homage to home joints right here. And I just feel like that would be perfect to test out the double laces on here. You know, me, sadly, I don't even know how to lace up regular shoes. So I'm gonna have my wife show you guys, she's gonna show me as well, how we can try some double laces on these homage to homes. We're gonna do three styles and you guys could uh, tell us what you guys like the best. So let's just jump right into it. So we're starting off and we're gonna use uh, red and white lace. Um, obviously you're gonna have the red on this side and the white on this side. So first thing that you wanna do is you want to get the laces at the tip of them and you want to tie them together in a knot and everybody ties their knots a little different the objective is just to make sure it's a really tight knot and small if you can figure out a way to make it smaller than that then you know even better and so because i want the white lace to come over here then i'm actually gonna start out by sticking the white lace over here so just bear that in mind when you're doing it whatever color um, that you want to go on like your right side. I don't know. This is my right. It's your left Whatever you want to stick that lace through the opposite side because what you're going to end up doing is crossing it over And then you're going to get started with the with the lace pattern. So That's what I'm doing right there now as you guys can see I tucked that in right there and I'm gonna take this knot and tuck it underneath so that after everything is said and done then that knot is like hidden underneath and you'll never see it but like i said that's why you want it to be kind of small so that it's not uncomfortable so now i'm going to take this red lace and just move it to the side and i'm going to go over the top trying to like keep it straight throughout the whole thing so that when i pull it through i don't have to straighten it out too much but you know that's just my preference when lacing shoes i try to keep it straight as much as i can so now we have our setup so that we can get started. I'm gonna show you guys in detail how to achieve the pattern. And after that, you pretty much just repeat the same step over and over till you get to the top of the shoe, wherever you wanna finish the lace at. So basically I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna crisscross them. So just bear in mind that whatever direction you crisscross that you wanna stay consistent with that. So if I take this and I put the white, like I'm starting the white and I'm bringing that behind the red to start my crisscross, then as I move up the lace pattern, then I want to keep it the same. So I crisscrossed it and now I'm bringing it back over, white underneath the red, and now I'm gonna take them and I'm gonna insert them both into the holes that are next in line. And so like my OCD self, like I said, trying to keep this straight so I don't have to straighten it out too much. <laughs> Well, I'm sure everybody would prefer that. Like, I'm just not a master at keeping it straight. That's why I like right. suck at lacing those. But and then also bear in mind, now sometimes when people do this, um, they'll still have a pattern to where um, they, you'll see like a little bit of white right here, and as the pattern um, goes up, it will gradually increase the amount of white you see and decrease the amount of red you see. So well, that yeah, that's like a V diagonal. shape. Like we yeah. don't want to do the V shape. We want it to be just straight up the middle, just because of the style of the shoe. And so that's why I pulled some of the white out to make sure that the white finishes in the middle. And I'm kind of, I'm gonna flip that a little bit so that when I bring this over and I put this red through, that the top part of the red lace, it looks like it's laying flat like that. Because if I didn't turn it, then I would bring it over and the top part of the red lace would look like it's kind of sticking up like that. So if that makes sense, that's just something that I, am doing just to try and achieve the flattest look when you look at this in person when you do it yourself you'll see that because of the nature of the style um it's not really the most flat type of lace pattern that you could get if that makes sense but essentially that's how it's gonna look so like i said i'm gonna go through and i'm gonna do it again putting the white behind the red crisscrossing it initially and then crossing it one more time over, making sure that they're both gonna be evenly placed in the center, which is a little difficult because this tongue keeps turning, but whatever. Evenly placed in the center, and then I'm just gonna stick them through the holes again. And as you guys can see, I'm going up and around the hole and then bringing it through the inside of the hole. And like I, like I did before, making sure that I flip that so that when I bring this red through, that it's flat on top. 
if you guys don't pay attention to these small details then you're gonna have your shoes laced in two different colors but it's gonna look real sloppy so just try to get it as neat as you can which is what I'm trying to do and as even as you can so one more time and then we'll speed it up white behind the red crisscross I'm gonna flip this red just for consistency and then I'm gonna stick those through the next holes so hopefully you get the gist and we're gonna show you guys how to do this not just with red and white laces but also a couple of other color variations as well Okay, so I'm getting ready to um, take the red out and now put the black in. And I want to actually try to leave the white in place, see if I can just loop the black through. And this could be a good method for you guys to try if you want to switch out the color variations um, in your shoes that are already done. Do you really think this is going to be successful? <laughs> well, we're about to see right now, you know what I'm saying? Because as long as I keep Why the white so lazy? <laughs> where they at, you know, the whites are already in place. I don't see the need in taking them out if we're just switching up one color. <laughs> So I'm going to go through and I'm going to untie this knot. This will probably be the hardest part. But see, I have nails. See, I have these post postpartum nails popping right now, so they're pretty long. So it's helping me. Uh, if you want to get you some nails like this, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to do a tutorial on how to get your nails like this. Basically, have a baby. <laughs> All right, so I untied that. Boom, get that out the way. See how this works. So we have our black lace. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to make a knot. So we have our knot and I'm just going to go through and tuck that. And then just get started. But how are you going to get the white ones to look straight again? Don't even trip. <laughs> I got this. Okay. For the sake of time. So white always wet underneath, which means... Oh, God. It's ghetto tutorial one-on-one. <laughs> So I'm doing the same thing as I was doing with the red. Bringing it around and sticking it through. And because the white has already been put in place, then I don't have to do the white anymore. So once again, I'm taking the black and I'm coming like, you know, in front of the white from my angle. Flipping. That actually looks like it's working. Flipping it just as I was doing the red, making sure that it's straight once I stick it through. And you know, if it ends up not being straight, just straighten it out. And that is how you relace your, what is this called? Double lace method. Double lacing the Jordan 1 homage to home. Okay, that's you know how you. Mean? That's how you relace your double laces when all you want to do. That's how you relace your double laces. When all you want to do is switch out one color, you know, there's no point in taking both of them out and having to redo well, it. Well, that out. is true. That does look like it's working. So we're just going to go ahead and speed it up so you guys can see the final look. All right, so there we have it. This is the second one. Um, drop those comments down below. First of all, let us know if you guys are even filling the double laces on the homage to home. And then if you guys were to actually rock this, would you guys go with this variation or would you guys go with the first one with the white and black? So uh, drop those comments, let us know. We appreciate the lacing, Miss Ruby. 
Because you know your boy CJ City would not have been able to do that, man. So No problem, babe. Yeah, man. I just want to remind you guys that, you know, if you like the white and the red combo, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And if you like the white and black combo, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And if you don't like either, then make sure you give this video two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. And keep it pushing. We appreciate the love, man. You already know what it is. CJ City TV. I'm signing out. We out. Cheers.